the conference semis. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Los Angeles Clippers. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson and Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, Clay Thompson asked what he thinks about when he's shooting. He said, quote, nothing. You want to have a clear mind, a free consciousness, and just let it fly. When you go with the flow, you're in rhythm, and you're not really thinking about it, that's when it feels the best. Brian? Uh, it's a thing of beauty, Allie. Thank you. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. The two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Nicholas Batum out there with Mitchell Robinson, and it's Wall in at the one. And for Golden State, Curry and Poole, the sharp shooting backcourt for them. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's Wiseman in at the five, roaming the paint. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Wall against Curry. George outside. Ball for three. Pure from three-point range. Coming into the league, Wall didn't take many threes, but he's added this dimension to his game. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Pass to Poole. Wing shot on the way, and it gets that one. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. And here's Leonard. Back to George. Five on the clock. There's the triple. Kaminga pulls it in. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Wall against Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Now Wiseman. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. Team foul. At the line for the Warriors. James Weisman, two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. also good so he hits both free throws and we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter George outside outside wall from about 19 he's in his comfort zone two for two to start this one nice job breaking down the defense Wall takes these mid-range shades when the D gives him the chance. Oh, wasted no time on that one. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Leonard. Batum in the post. He's watched by Kaminga. The fadeaway. Batum shot is off. And the Warriors with possession. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. The Clippers have gone just two for four from the floor. George against Poole. Now here's George. Defense right on him. Oh, some solid defense from Poole. Wiggins outside. There's the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. George outside. That one falls. He's now one for three. 30 play from George in the paint. Getting by the contact and to his finish. Here's Curry. Oh, the teardrop falls in. 
already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Leonard outside. Pass to Robinson. George against Poole. Now here's George. He's covered closely. Ah, nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Leonard against Poole. Back to Wiggins. Three-pointer. No luck on that one. And the Clippers will come the other way. Ball against Curry. George passes to Leonard. Here's Batum. Let's it fly. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Curry passes to Wiggins. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. So polished from this painted area. Love watching Wiggins do his thing close to the basket. Leonard against Wiggins. Pass to George. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. During the playoffs, the NBA leaders in shooting from the floor. Fourth, James Wiseman. Since we started the playoffs, he's been totally locked in offensively, taking and making some good looks. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by Robinson. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. Kicks it to George. To the middle. Pass to Wall. Six to shoot. Shoots over Curry. Wall gets the bucket. Wall's got seven points in the game. Now put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Now here's Curry. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Second team foul. At the line for the Dubs, Jordan. Two. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Poole. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Here's Robinson. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Leonard for three. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Amazing that catch-and-shoot jumpers were considered a weak spot for Kawhi when he came into the league. No one thinks that way anymore. Now here's Wiggins. Here's Wiseman. No good. A bit long that time. The Clippers in the lead. Outside wall. Floats one. And no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Here's Kaminga. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. This man sees everything on the court. Curry just dropping dimes out there. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over.
get up and make the And the Warriors make some changes. Green's checked in for Wiseman. Clay Thompson comes in for Kaminga. And Moody is subbed in for Poole. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Robinson. Lyles comes in for Batum. Kennard, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And Herter's subbed in for George. Now here's Kennard. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one belongs to Wiggins. And he drops the first. So he makes both from the line. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. The Warriors have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Green finds Thompson. Up and over Kennard. Thompson's shot is off. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Pass to Wiggins. Rebound by the Clippers. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Wall against Curry. Now here's Wall. He's guarded closely. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. The Warriors trailing. Curry passes to Wiggins. Here's Moody. Outside Curry. For three, they get the rebound, and it's hammered home by Green. Relentless, you will never outwork Dream. Outside Herder. Now Wall, nine points in the game. Outside Herder. Pass to Lyle. Back to Wall. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Curry. Wall, no good. The Warriors have got 6 of 14 in so far. Here's Moody. Two points. That one goes. And that makes it a tie ball game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Kennard. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. 11 feet out. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Moody. Thompson outside. Pass to Moody. The three ball. Out to Thompson. The three. That won't go for him. Now 0 for 2. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. Now Herder, pounded by Wiggins. Here's Lyles. Takes the 3. Knocks it down from there distance. Lyles, Lyles has got 5 now. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Tipped. Stolen by Kennard. And he lays it in off the breakaway. And now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. And the Warriors shooting 41% from the field so far. Pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. A minute 35 left to play in the first. Sends it home from three-point land. He's got seven. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Outside Herter. Over Moody. Here's Zubats. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. And the Clippers lead by four. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. 
Back to Curry. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Wall. And the big finish by Wall. An athletic display by Wall. Letting the defense know he can own the rim. Golden State has gone just one of six from downtown. Thompson passes to Curry. Now here's Green. He's guarded by Zubats. Here's Thompson. The Clippers grab the miss. Outside wall. To the paint. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Schroeder, he's checked in for the Warriors. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Morris is checked in. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the first. Wall against Schroeder. Pass to Wiggins. The three from Thompson. He buries it from three. What boys from Thompson. Not allowing for any distractions from his shot. Wall against Schroeder. With four on the clock. Good as the jump shot falls. Wall's got 13 now. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. And so it's Los Angeles, up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. this exciting Western Conference semifinal game rolls on. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. The Warriors shooting the ball at 43% from the field. On the wings, it's Poole and Thompson. Wiseman is out there with Kaminga. And it's Schroeder in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Here's Poole. Wall with a defensive effort. You often expect him to convert these types of shots. But the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. Free throw drops for Leonard. And here are the Warriors now. They trail by 11. Left side, Kaminga. Back to Schroeder. Puts up a three. Rebound by the Clippers. Wall finds George. No good. Oh, some solid defense from Poole. Thompson in the post. Leonard defending. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line. A chance at a three-point play. He's a big guard. 6'6", 215. Clay can absorb hits and still finish with ease. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Dubs. Clay Thompson. Shooting one.
That free throw is good from Thompson. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. Now here's Leonard. Pass to Robinson. George outside. Out to Leonard. 4-3. Yes, and it's George Why picking up the Leonard? assist. Leonard's got six here in the quarter. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. George outside. Clock at six. Pass to Wall. Fires from deep. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Fantastic night for Wall. Looks like the guy who tore up the league when he first arrived. Schroeder passes to Poole. Thompson against Leonard. Outside Kaminga. It's Poole on the wing. Nails it from three. Poole's got seven points. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Leonard. Nine points in the game. Crops in the layup for two. 11 points in the game. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And the Warriors call time here. Curry's checked in. Batum is checked in for Los Angeles. Pass to Poole. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Banked it in off the glass. Poole's got his third basket on the night right there. Breakdown for the defenders, and you can't ask for an easier bucket than that. Wall, the pass to George. Robinson with it. Wiseman with a steal. Pass to Kaminga. On the wing, Thompson. Leonard defending. Thompson, no good. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. And the basket by Leonard. Leonard. Leonard's got 13. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. The three from Curry. It's rebounded by George. The Clippers have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Standing at 6-4, Wall is a big point guard. That size along with his handles help him operate inside. John Wall. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Wall. 
And after a series of major injuries, Wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league. So he hits one of two from the strike. The Warriors have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Pass to Curry. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Ball against Curry. Now Leonard. And it's going to be a three-second call. And let's take a look at the players leading the way in assist here in the postseason. Fifth best, Paul George. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. Curry finds Thompson. Back to Curry. Now here's Kaminga. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Lyles, he's checked in for the Clippers. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. George passes to Leonard. Pass to Wall. Here's George. Six on the shot clock. Back to Lyles. Man, the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got four assists in the game. And being that Wall is a point guard, it's his responsibility to facilitate. Just a terrific dime right there. Now here's Kaminga. Curry passes to Kaminga. That one's good from the corner. Kaminga's got his second basket of the game. Los Angeles has got six of seven threes to fall. They're looking solid out there. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Outside wall. Pass to George. Just five to shoot. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. And they're winning. But it hasn't been because of him. He can't throw it in the ocean so far. And that one's good. Cool. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Curry against Wall. Shot on the wing. Warriors with the rebound. Here's Curry. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Batum, pass to Wall. Back to Batum. Shoots over Kaminga. And again, no good by the Clippers. Golden State has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Here's Curry. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. 
Curry's got 11 points. Well, Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pickings. He just goes up, nails the shot with ease. George finds Wall. Back to George. Launches the three. And the three-pointer goes. Five points in the game. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. On the wing, Curry. Outside Kaminga. From outside the arc. Not going to go that time. And the Clippers will come the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. George against Poole. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's just so hard to stop without fouling. I mean, George can beat you with length, with skill, and with intelligence. Paul George. Two shots. First one falls for him. And just one of the most complete players in the game today. George's two-way game and strong leadership traits are reasons why he's a star. George hits them both. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Left side, Kaminga. Green against Zubats. Left side, Green. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Curry gets the bucket. On a night like tonight, Steph Curry is must-watch basketball. He can score from anywhere. Los Angeles has gotten seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. Pass to Herter. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Herter's got five points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's George. He's got seven. Pass to Kennard. Over Moody. Kaminga pulls it in. That is not a bad decision to pull it from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. And here is Green. Defended by Kennard. Deflected! And he's able to get it back. Second shot opportunity. And it's Green missing. Well, some trips you get the shot you want. It just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. It's stolen by Green. Pass to Wiggins. Fires from the wing. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double-digit assist on any night if he wanted to. Here's Lyles. He's watched by Kaminga. George outside. And here's Kennard. Shot clock at six. It's Herder on the wing. Offensive rebound. Zubac's shot is off. Golden State has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Again, Golden State. Incredible passer at his position. Green is especially good at getting it to the open team. Outside Herder. Back to Kennard. There's a minute 54 left in the second period. Can't hit that one. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor. And misses like that are the reason why. Outside Curry. Oh, George with a steal. Pass to Zubats. The Warriors pull it in. Zubats with the steal. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins got four rebounds now. Here's Moody, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. 
and making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. Back to George. Over Curry. George, good. George has got nine. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. Releases. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. Look at Curry getting crafty, ensuring he gets fouled while in the act of shooting. Stephen Curry at the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls. A multiple time champion and relentless competitor. Curry's drive to be an all time great. Well, he's pretty much there. Schroeder, he's checked in for Kaminga. Morris, he's checked in for the Clippers. He's off on the second. Los Angeles has got it going from distance in the second quarter. Four or five from deep. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. At the line for the Clippers. Luke Kennard. One shot. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Schroeder. And a deep three from Curry. He's off on that one. The Clippers go the other way with it. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. That one goes in. Herter's gotten four this quarter. George can make the tough passes. He can also make the easy ones, too. No way he was going to miss the wide-open man on that one. Now here's Curry. 15 points in the game. Pass to Moody. Launches it. It's hauled in by Herter. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 9 from 3-point range so far. George outside. Back to Herter. The 3 is up. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got his fourth assist with that last one. And so it's Los Angeles in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. And they've got a comfortable lead in large part due to their three-point shooting. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? We got to uh, get back in transition. We got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Fans, give it up for your Warrior review. And time for us to get back into it here in game one. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from John Wall. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. On the floor for the Clippers. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. John Wall is out there with Paul George. And it's Robinson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Curry. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. What focus from Curry, embracing the physicality and figuring out how to still capitalize through. Leonard against Wiggins. Leonard outside. Five to shoot. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Leonard's got 15 points. Count on Leonard to not get held back by the contact. He goes right through it to get his shot off. 
Curry passes to Kaminga. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Leonard. Pass to Wall. Back to Leonard. Down low. Here's George. Yep, that one goes. Oh, He's got 11. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Wiggins with it. Kuminga, the pass to Poole. Now Wiseman. Robinson defending. The three from Curry. Counted. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. Simply the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Every time he makes another three-pointer, he's adding to the record. Pass to Leonard. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range, the long-distance three is buried. Three-pointer. Leonard's got five points in the quarter. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Back to Curry. Pass to Poole. Wiggins with it. Shoots. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Wiggins got his third bucket of the night. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three from the floor. Curry against Wall. Right side, Robinson. Shoots over Wiseman. Robinson can't hit. Their first miss since the break still. I like how they've come out so far. Pool, the pass to Wiggins. Curry against George. From behind the arc. Curry's shot is off. For Los Angeles, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And Leonard throws it down hard. Yeah, the level of creativity Leonard has is just special. He's capable of some really memorable throwdowns. Kaminga finds Wiggins. Off target from outside. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. It's George on the wing. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. George has got four points this quarter. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Stephen Curry. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Paul George taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Good on the second one. Now here's Poole. 11 points in the game. It's Wiggins on the wing. And stolen by Leonard. Kuminga against Batum. Ball no good. Golden State is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. It's Poole on the wing. Robinson defending. Here's Wiseman. Off the window, it's good. Reliable approach. Getting the ball in the paint and going to work. Leonard outside. Wall against Poole. Inside. George passes to Batum. Five on the clock. Leonard for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kaminga's got four rebounds in the game. It's Poole on the wing. It's stolen by Wall.
Oh, some solid defense from Poole. The Warriors have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Shots good by Thompson. See, it's crazy accuracy that makes him so hard to stop. He's a constant threat from range. Here's Batum. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Golden State has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Here's Wiggins. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got seven rebounds in the game. Outside wall. Pass to Leonard. Shoots over Wiggins. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson left side. And the slam dunk by Thompson. The time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. here for the Warriors. Green's checked in for Wiseman. Moody comes in for Kaminga. And it's Schroeder in for Poole. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Zubats, he's checked in for Robinson. Morris comes in for Batum. Herders checked in for George. And it's Kennard in for Wall. Pass to Kennard. He gets it in there. Kennard's got seven points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Here's Moody, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason, chasing down blocks and making an impact. For Los Angeles, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Leonard passes to Zubac. Back to Leonard. Kennard outside. Six to shoot. Sinks the tray. Kennard's got five points now this quarter. Evolving as a passer and playmaker, Leonard wants to keep setting up his teammates like this. Knocked loose. That one goes. And that's his ninth made shot in 12 attempts. Oh, and Leonard has some of the biggest hands in the game, using them to haul in offensive boards. Pass to Green to end the run. He drops it from range. Green's got the second bucket. Hey, you leave him open, he's going to make the defense pay for that level of disrespect. Back to Kennard. Just five to shoot. Pass to Herder from the arc. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Three ball. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. 
Here's Moody. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team foul. At the line for the Dubs, Moses Moody taking two shots. That free throw misses. John Wall, he's checked in for Morris. And he's good on the second. So it's the Clippers now. Outside Herder. Wall against Schroeder. Here's Leonard. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Some really tough defense inside, but Leonard won't back down. I mean, he's just scrappy. He wants to make the defense work twice as hard. Free throw drops for Leonard. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. And Leonard drops them both. Golden State has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Shoots it from the high post. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Wiggins got four points now in the quarter. So effective from the mid-range. When Wiggins senses an opportunity to score from there, he doesn't hesitate at all. Here's Kennard. Drains the triple. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Thompson outside. Now Wiggins takes a three. Another three for Golden State. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Ball, the pass to Herter. Kennard against Wiggins. Zubats with it. Back to Kennard. Remaining in the third. The kick out to Wall. From downtown. And the Clippers hit again from deep. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Pass to Wiseman. It's Wiggins on the wing. Releases. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Wiggins has got nine points now in the second half. A tale of two halves. After a slow start, he's turning his offense around. Now here's Leonard. Kennard outside. Back to Leonard. Here's the three. And Kennard with the three. Kennard's got 16 points now. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Wiseman. It's Wiggins on the wing. Defended by Kennard. And the shot's good by Wiggins. He's got 15. That's all the defense can really do. I mean, they'll live with Wiggins nailing a contested shot. Here's Kennard. And here's Herter. Back to Kennard. This one for three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Three ball. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. 
Herter against Thompson. Back to Wiggins. No one near him. And the Warriors tack on two more. Ooh, good mechanics on Wiggins' shot right there. Now, he definitely has a natural talent for shooting the ball. Leonard right side. Tries the nine-footer. And he drops that one in. Leonard's got 26. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Los Angeles Clippers. Totaling 26 points and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. That wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Dennis Schroeder. He's out there with Moody. Draymond Green is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's Gill in a power forward. That's the Warriors five. Here's Moody. Pass to Schroeder. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Morris. The Clippers shooting it at 61%. A terrific average. Kennard with it. Morris outside. Here's Preston. No good from outside. And the Warriors shooting 52% from the floor so far. Here's Moody. Back to Wiggins. the 12-footer and hits it. Wiggins has got 15 points here in the second half. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Pass to Preston. Leonard outside. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Now, here's Green. Outside Schroeder. Back to Green. From deep. They get it back. He shoots again. It's stolen by Leonard. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Out of bounds. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. And a new group getting ready for the Warriors. Wiseman, he's checked in for Green. Kaminga comes in for Gill. Poole, he's checked in for Moody. And it's Curry in for Schroeder. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Robinson, he's checked in for Lyles. Batum comes in for Morris. Paul George, he's checked in for Kennard. And it's John Wall in for Preston. George outside. Outside Wall. The three. The Warriors pull it in. Poole's got rebound number eight now. Unloads. And there's Kuminga. That one's good on the assist by Poole. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. The Clippers call timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page.
Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors Youth Kids team. Cub Nation, I need you to make some noise for your Warriors Junior. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Batum finds Wall. George outside. Leonard for three. That is Stephen Curry with the rebound. Curry's got four rebounds now. Wiggins from long range. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Paul George. At the line for the Warriors. James Weissman. Two shots. down the first one. That one falls. So he hits both of them. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Leonard. Back to Wall. Outside Robinson. Clock at six. From deep. And again, no good by the Clippers. The Warriors have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. The kick out, Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Now here's Wiseman. Now here's Curry. Wall covering. Shoots from 12. That one doesn't go. Shooting 8 for 15 now. The Clippers have got nothing to fall in this fourth quarter. 0 of 5. Leonard outside. Back to Wall. To stop the drought. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got four assists now tonight. So physical for one. Wall has the size and skill to do work in the paint. Pass to Wiseman. Who poked away. It's stolen by Leonard. Now George. Back to Leonard. And here's George. Batum outside. Six on the shot clock. The offensive rebound. Robinson finds Wall. Knocks down the triple. Wall. Wall's got five points now this quarter. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Pass to Curry. Now here's Wiseman. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. Second team foul. At the line for the Warriors. James Wiseman. Taking two shots. Two, two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And here are the Clippers now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Outside wall. Leonard against Wiggins. Puts one up from 19. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Leonard's got 28 points for the game. In total control on that possession. Kawhi just reading the defense and taking it himself. Kept alive. Kuminga. Good work defensively by Robinson. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. Buries it from three. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Wall against Curry. Wiggins 
Curry passes to Poole. Shoots over George. Poole, shot is off. Here are the Clippers. They're on a 10-2 run here to the inside. And George with the jam. This They've been very well-rounded and extremely Wall. focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. Pass to Wiggins. Up top, Wiseman. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. Man, the, the defender the really went after him. James Weissman at the line for two. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. So for the Clippers, Azubuki, he's checked in for Robinson. Bullock comes in for Leonard, and Herter subbed in for George. And he sinks the second. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Outside wall. Back to Herter. Batum outside. Oh, and that one, no question. Howard is down. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. Back to Nwaba. Pass to Poole. Six to shoot. Takes it inside. Good on the bucket. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Here's Asabuki. Herder with it. He's guarded by Nuaba. Herder can't hit. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. So for the Clippers, Morris, he's checked in for Batum, and Preston subbed in for Wall. Jason Preston. Now Poole. Here's Baldwin. Four on the clock. And it's Nuaba penetrating. It's rebounded by Morris. Morris has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Bullock. The floater. And he sinks the layup. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Golden State has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Back to Poole. From eight feet, gets it. He's six for ten and looking confident out there. Not the best pick I've seen, but look, hey, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. Pass to Preston. Outside Herder. Morris with it. Beyond the arc. The shot that time, not on target. Poole, right side. Here's Baldwin. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Warriors. Patrick Baldwin Jr. Two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first.
And the first one at the line is good. And the Warriors making a change here. Gills checked in. Good on both. Here's Preston. Outside Herder. Morris outside. Jacks up a three. The Warriors pull it in. Here's Baldwin. Outside Nwaba. Cool outside. Pass to Baldwin. Let's it go from deep. That shot, no good. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Here's Bullock. To the wing, right side. Here's Azabuki. And that one off the back of the rim and in. The Warriors shooting at 31% here in this fourth quarter. Now Nawaba. Pass to Gill. Nawaba with it. And stolen by Herter. Jumps up, and the fast break ends at the rim with a jam. Well, look, I mean, great anticipation on one end leads to points on the other. And this is why turnovers give coaches and fans gray hairs. Now here's Poole. He's closely guarded. With the 10-footer, and score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Pass to Bullock. Here's Preston. Shot clock at five. Fires the three. Drills it from deep. And capturing the series momentum up front. This is a monster game one win for the Clippers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. The they just kept Mind at the it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And they have to be pleased with how they got this series started tonight. A nice 1-0 lead. The key now is to carry the same energy forward and get that second win. These are the playoffs, so you can't afford to relax or think you've got the series in the bag. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Kawhi Leonard. And we can't forget about his effort on defense, specifically how many steals he was able to grab. Just an absolute pest. Pass to Morris. Here's Preston. It's Herder on the wing. Sinks it from distance. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Pool outside. Pass to Gill. Looking to win the run. The shot misses. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's Bullock, guarded by Poole. Here's Preston. Outside Herder. Let's go with a three. And it's Poole with a rebound. And here are the Warriors now. Here's Nwaba. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the Dubs, David Nwaba. Taking two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw.
And the second free throw is good. And the Clippers have possession. Here's Preston. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. And it always takes a lot of pressure off the team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Paul, this team seems to be rounding into shape. What is your sense of the chemistry right now? Really good, really good, real beneficial. It's great that we was able to pick this one up. That's what it's about. We don't care if it's a blowout or if it's a close one. We need to learn how to do both. So uh, it's great. We were able to pick this up. Good quality team win. Good luck on continuing to build that chemistry. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.